Here are the top 5 things to expect from Apple in 2016. First up is the iPhone. The iPhone 6s and 6s Plus are hugely successful, and we're expecting the next version, the iPhone 7. Even though it's still quite early, there are already a few rumors about what to expect. Some rumors say that the build of the phone will be a new material altogether that ditches aluminum and will finally allow for taking away those antenna bands. Of course, it will probably be thinner as well with a better camera and faster internals, and there's also a rumor that the headphone jack would be removed in favor of wireless and lightning connected devices. With the iPhone 7 Plus, there was also a rumor that it will have an even larger battery and more internal storage. So the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus will be a totally new phone with upgrades that you'd expect along with a totally new design, and it's probably coming around the same time as the 6S in fall of 2016. Now that's not it for the iPhone though, along with those we are also expecting an iPhone 6C. Some users really don't like the size of the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, and the 6C is rumored to be a 4 inch device, and unlike the 5C it may be a more premium one being built out of aluminum. The specs may be on par or not far off from the current iPhone 6S, but it will not have quite as good of a camera and no 3D touch, but if this was true it would give those who like smaller devices a pretty great option to choose from. Now this one we're expecting to see pretty soon here, there's a rumored Apple event coming up in March and this is where we may see this new iPhone, so really not too long to wait. Alright so number 2 is the Apple Watch. Now that March event is almost a year since the launch of the current Apple Watch and this may be the time that we see Gen 2. So what to expect? Well judging on the design of most of the second gen mobile products in Apple's line we will probably see some sort of new design. Whether or not it's drastically different is hard to know but it will probably be thinner and include new features like a camera and possibly new health sensors for even better tracking. And it may also be more independent and work better without an iPhone. And this new Apple Watch is expected pretty soon here at that same March Apple event. Now number 3 is the iPad. The iPad's update schedule used to be a yearly occurrence but with the iPad Air 2 that hasn't been the case. It has been over a year since the iPad Air 2 was released, and instead Apple released a new iPad Mini and iPad Pro. This year we're expecting to see an updated iPad Air 3. We aren't sure what the defining feature will be, but it will likely be faster with the tweak design, but unfortunately it doesn't look like there will be any 3D touch due to production issues. And this update is expected in the first half of 2016. As for the other iPads, if Apple sticks to the schedule of the iPad Air 2, we may not see an update for those in quite a while. Now for number 4 is the last of the hardware products with the new Macs. With the MacBook line, one thing that's probably going to be updated across the board is new Intel chips, going with the new Skylake processors. This would lead to better performance and power management along with better integrated graphics. The two MacBooks that have not had major refreshes in a while are the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. They've had minor spec bumps, but overall the form factor has stayed the same. There is one rumor that says that the MacBook Air will be updated with a new design and new 15 inch model instead of a current 11 inch model. Although this rumor could also apply to a redesigned MacBook Pro. All these updates are expected in early to mid 2016 once the Skylake chips are more widely available, and there also may be updates to the iMacs later in the year and an update to the Mac Pro and Mac Mini to bring them some more up-to-date hardware. Now number 5 is the updates to software. This year we're expecting iOS 10, OS 10 10.12, and Watch OS 3. For iOS 10 there may be more focus on design changes rather than just being focused solely on features, but we also expect to see some of those new features and stability improvements. It's still too early to know what to expect in detail, but we'll probably see a glimpse of iOS 10 at WWDC with a release late in 2016. For OS 10, it's a similar story, with El Capitan Apple focused mainly on under the hood changes, so we may expect to see some new features with 10.12. And again, this is probably going to be announced at WWDC with a release in the fall. As for watchOS 3, if there is a second gen Apple Watch in March, we will probably see watchOS 3 then and have it released alongside. There's also the possibility to see an update to tvOS, although because this is the first cycle of tvOS, it's not clear if it's going to be a major change or just little updates. So those are the top 5 things to expect from Apple in 2016. There's a lot of updates to look forward to, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest rumors and news, and also visit MacRumors.com for more. I hope you all enjoyed this video, I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.